Ladies and gentlemen, the President of the Republic of the Philippines, His Excellency Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr. and First Lady Luis Araneta Marcos. Thank you, uh, uh, yes, uh, Luke Bersamin. Uh, good, oh, this, this it. Ano ba yung protocol dyan? I've always assumed that the minute you start speaking, everyone can sit down. So let, let, let. There you go. Thank you, ma'am. I see, you see, buti na lang we have GMA with us who can guide us along the way. Uh, Vice President in Daisara Duterte. And of course, former President and Senior Deputy Speaker um, Gloria Macapagal Arroyo, uh, Speaker Martin Romualdez, and the members of the Cabinet that we have uh, here with us today, uh, both those who are uh, staying behind to uh, hold the fort and those who are coming with us to uh, attend the ASEAN Summit. Uh, Pasay City Loan District Representative Antonio Calixto, Mayor Imelda Calixto Rubiano, who is, yes, is always in the reception and uh, departure committee. And of course, uh, our First Lady, uh, Lisa Araneta Marcos. The AFP. <laughs> I don't know this. <laughs> the, le the level of discussion seems to have been. <laughs> Yeah, AFG, AFP Chief of Staff General Andy Centino, the Major Service Commanders, Philippine Coast Guard Commandant uh, Admiral Abu, my fellow workers in government, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. I leave today for Indonesia to attend the 42nd ASEAN Summit at the invitation of the Chair of ASEAN this year, President Joko Widodo. I will join other leaders of ASEAN to advance our community building efforts in the region and ensure the well-being and security of our people in line with Indonesia's chairmanship theme of ASEAN Matters, epicentrum of growth. My participation will serve to promote and protect the interests of our country, including our continued efforts towards economic growth, attaining food and energy security, promoting trade and investment, combating transnational crimes such as the trafficking in persons and protecting migrant workers in crisis situation amongst others. The leaders of ASEAN will also exchange views on pressing issues of common concerns such as developments in the South China Sea, the situation in Myanmar, and major power rivalries amongst others. We will be joined by the leader of Timor-Leste at the 42nd ASEAN Summit. This is the first time that Timor-Leste will join ASEAN as an observer, and I'm looking forward to a bilateral meeting with the leaders of Timor-Leste so that we can discuss their prospective membership in ASEAN. I will also be participating in the 15th Brunei Darussalam Indonesia Malaysia Philippines East ASEAN Growth Area as well as various interfaces with ASEAN leaders, with the ASEAN Interparliamentary Assembly, 
and representatives of the ASEAN Business Advisory Council, ASEAN Youth, and the High-Level Task Force on the ASEAN Community Post-2025 Vision. In these meetings, we will have the opportunity to highlight the importance of strengthening cooperation in the BIMP Aga sub-region to sustain its thriving economy. The strong partnership between the executive and legislative bodies of ASEAN, the pivotal role of private sector, and the youth in advancing growth and shaping the future, as well as the future direction of the ASEAN vision. I look forward to our productive engagements with our ASEAN, but to our always productive engagements with our ASEAN partners. This is a continuation of the process that we had begun, where the deriving from the idea and the principle and the concept of Asian ASEAN centrality in the face of the challenges that we have to answer, that we have to answer not only as single nations, but as this political aggregation that is ASEAN. I am always uh, optimistic uh, because uh, all the uh, uh, interactions that we have had with the different leaders of ASEAN member states, and for that matter, APEC and all the APEC plus uh, conferences that we've had, there seems to be a very clear area of commonality. And as the theme of uh, this uh, ASEAN summit is uh, clearly manifesting, it is once again towards economic growth. And to recognize that ASEAN and Southeast Asia have been the, 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 the partners that the other parts of the world and I speak, therefore, of India, I speak of China, I speak of the, United, the uh, European Union, the United States, Latin America, even some elements of Africa, look to Southeast Asia as the growth center for the global economy. And that is why it is very important that we go and uh, continue to discuss, amongst other ASEAN leaders of all the member states, on how we can maximize and find that extra energy, that synergy, from our working together. Maraming salamat po. Magandang hapon po sa inyo lahat.